for many things. Totem poles, not among them, but the city is now home to a beautiful and original native Indian totem pole. It was raised today in an inspiring ceremony at the Lancel Sablo Francophone School. As Blaine Gaffney reports, the poll was created to promote Aboriginal awareness and to foster better relationships between cultures. They're in the final stages of what could be a first in Kelowna, the raising of an authentic Aboriginal totem pole. created over two weeks of carving in their coastal Salish tradition by three native artists, with the pole incorporating Okanagan motifs. We got the eagle and the kokanee and the grizzly bear, which is uh, uh, Kelowna's named after a grizzly bear, so you know, it all fits for the area. The totem pole project was spearheaded by two parents at Kelowna's Francophone School to promote cross-cultural connections, foster new friendships, and create greater awareness and appreciation of native traditions and customs. And it was just a great experience for all the kids, the Aboriginal kids, felt a great sense of pride in, in sharing their, their culture through this. So it's, uh, it was just a beautiful thing. At five meters long, the pole serves to bridge an oftentimes wide gap between two communities. Everything we give to the community is giving back to us. So I, I, I walk away fully enriched. I feel so much pride for the community itself. Out of respect for cultural and territorial sensitivities, the West Bank First Nation was asked for its blessing for the Totem Pole Project. As we know, Kelowna is a melting pot of culture and, and race and that, and I think highlighting and, and, and being more inclusive is what it's all about as far as community. I commend what's going on here. It's obvious the students at the school are impressed with the new addition. I think it's amazing. It's a really good experience to have this here at our school. And I'm really happy that it's here at our school. And having the carvers here was a really good experience. Getting to know them was really good. Yeah. I think it's really pretty. And I would like to thank all the people that made it because it really represents, um, like, Aboriginal stuff. And I think, it's, I think it goes well with our school. Carved from a 300-year-old red cedar from Vancouver Island, the totem pole will stand for generations to come as a symbol of goodwill between two communities and as testament to BC's First Nations heritage. It's no longer our pole. It's your pole. You'll look after it. It'll look after you. That's one of our teachings. In Kelowna, Wayne Gaffney, CHBC News. The school principal says the budget for the totem pole project was between twenty and twenty-five thousand dollars, but much of that, including the cedar log, came as donations. It is time to take a.